right, Tuesday afternoon has been pretty hot across the region and mostly dry, though a few spots have been lucky enough to have some thunderstorms rolling through the area out toward Andalusia. That's where we do have some heavier cells, but not very big at all. And also along Interstate 10 and south where it headed toward Destin, there's a pretty decent cell. There are lots of lightning there. Nothing strong or severe at the moment, but that's always a possibility when we do have hot temperatures like this in the lower 90s for the most part. 93 for you fall 91 for Abbeville. We're right at 90 degrees here in Doth and feeling like it is over 100 degrees for some of us and those heat index temperatures are going to be a concern over the next couple days. So certainly try to stay cool and try to stay hydrated if you do have plans to be outdoors at all. This evening itself is going to be staying pretty muggy and pretty warm into the 10 o'clock hour. 80 degrees by then overnight lows will be cooling off into the middle 70s for the most part. But overall the pretty hot trend is going to be continuing because the dry days are going to be continuing. The high temperatures will be trending above average for the better part of this week. We'll finally see a change in that once we get to the weekend when some higher storm chances come into the picture. And as far as that, it's going to be more of a typical kind of pattern. Now in the tropics, we're always watching what's going on. We do have a new hurricane out there. Tropical storm Chris strengthened earlier in the afternoon into a hurricane. Winds are pretty strong, sustained in the 85 mile per hour range. And also we're watching what is left over a barrel. Conditions are going to be looking pretty favorable as it drifts more to the north and northwest over the next couple days, so it's likely we could be dealing with another name storm, and if it does regenerate, it will keep the barrel name. Now, here's Chris looking very impressive on satellite imagery. No threat to the U.S., which is good news, but certainly high surf for the Carolinas and Virginias. Uh, as far as that, as it is heading up the coast, winds right now sustained at 85 miles per hour. Movement now is at uh, the northeast at 10 miles per hour. It was stationary for the past couple of days. You can see that path kind of meandering around there. It's finally going to be lifting northward and possibly even strengthening into a category two hurricane with 100 mile per hour sustained winds. And as it heads up into the North Atlantic, it will gradually weaken and and change into a more of a subtropical system, no longer a warm court system, but still some strong winds winds as it is headed toward Great Britain. There's a chance that Scotland could be dealing with some pretty strong winds as we head into the weekend. So something for them to watch for us. We're just going to be watching dry air funnel into the southeast. Rain chances are going to be pretty minimal over the next couple of days. Almost non-existent best chance would be to our west where we are seeing some activity on the radar. As far as our conditions for tonight, it's going to be clearing out. Temperatures still in the 80s by 945 overnight lows will be cooling off into the 70s, lower 70s for a few locations by sunrise tomorrow. But then with all that sunshine, we're already going to be in the 90s just after 11 o'clock and after lunchtime. Could see some spots warm into the middle 90s with heat index temperatures right around 100 degrees for a lot of locations. If you're lucky, we might have a few stray showers develop, but that's about it. Don't count on that until we get to the weekend. As far as Thursday, starting out on the dry side and a similar pattern will be setting up where we will be dealing with mostly dry conditions. For tonight, 74 degrees for that low temperature, a mostly clear night, a variable wind, and that's what we're going to be dealing with for tomorrow. That stationary boundary that we have been tracking, that's going to be uh, meandering around the region still, but the dry air is going to be overwinding and we'll actually have an onshore breeze at times. That's what's going to help to prop up the humidity levels and help to prop up those heat index temperatures as far as heading into the next couple days. Mostly dry for Wednesday and Thursday. On Friday, we introduce a 20% chance of isolated showers or thunderstorms. And then the main event will be Saturday and Sunday with scattered afternoon showers and storms. There's a chance that those storm chances will be a little bit higher, so that could help lower those temperatures a little bit into the upper 80s for some locations. But then as we head into the next work week, Monday and Tuesday, start things off with a 30% chance of showers and Storms pretty typical with average high temperatures right at 90 